Welcome back, my adoring public. Feral Fiasco here from more Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, last time we helped out Colette and George, Double Trouble, and we've literally just stepped outside of the engineering building, and Reen's got a little bit to say. Whew, that was a lot of work. I'm exhausted. It feels good, though. Kind of fulfilling. But now that I think about it, George might have made that request specifically for my sake. Oh, cool. I almost missed that, Reen. I feel like I know a lot more about Trista in the Academy now that I'm done. No, Colette accomplished that for me. Uh-oh. Something over yonder? Oh, it's that chick, uh, uh, Catwoman, whatever? Who's that? If she's hanging around here, she must be a member of the Engineering Club, right? That big thing next to her wasn't here before, either. What could it be? Well, it doesn't matter now. I've got another request to finish. Yep. Uh, can we talk to her? Cool. That about does it. Now all I've got to do is report back to George. So she does know George after all. Alright. Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and stretch our legs a bit, heading out, uh, heading over to Principal Van Dyke. Uh, Fee is still standing there. I wonder if she says anything different. Nope, shade here's nice. Might be good for napping. Okay, so nothing's changed since, like, before Colette. And Van Dyke should be on this floor. Principal's office. He should be right here, actually. All right. So, what do you got for me, guy? Excuse me, Principal. I'm Reen Schwarzer, of Class 7. Ah, good, good. I've been waiting for you. He looks even bigger up close than he did at the ancient ceremony. He must be, what, two arch tall? What is an arch? So what tells me you've accepted my request? I truly appreciate you taking time out of your free day to assist me in this. It's no problem at all, sir. So, you're looking for someone to further investigate the underground area of the old schoolhouse? Precisely. And I couldn't have found a better man for the job considering your class was down there so recently. Incidentally, it was Sarah who insisted on making use of that trap door, not me. I probably should have tried to stop her, however. Please, do accept my apologies. Um, no. No, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, not at all, sir. You have no reason to apologize. Of course, I've got no control over Reen accepting. I kind of already figured she was behind it anyway. I mean, it stands to reason. Getting back to the matter at hand, there are a number of interesting stories surrounding that old schoolhouse. That gargoyle you fought is just a drop in the bucket, all told. Now that you mention it, I hope, dude, are there more bosses? Is like the is like the old schoolhouse like the ultimate dungeon of this game or something? I did get the distinct impression while fighting it that it was no ordinary monster. It was almost as if someone had planted it there. Indeed, almost as if it weren't a monster at all. But a demon? Perhaps the word fiend might fit. In our experience, if left alone, it will always regenerate to its original statue form, eventually. So it's always gonna come back? Well, it should get easier to kill, right? Really? Yes, and as a result, the area has long been used by students in tests of strength. But. In the past year, many strange alterations have begun occurring there. I've received reports ranging from doors appearing out of nowhere to strange and eerie voices in the darkness. I see. So you'd like me to go and investigate whether there's any truth to these reports then? If possible, yes. Specifically, I would like you to walk through the underground area and check for any significant changes since last month. A task for which you are uniquely qualified, given your prior experience down there. 
I suppose that's true. And I'd be happy to undertake this mission. Though, if that gargoyle has regenerated, things can get a little tricky. If that turns out to be the case, I would have no objection at all to you turning back. Well, I can't because this is a required story mission. I should also stress that I'm making this request to Class 7 as a whole. By all means, do ask your classmates for assistance. I'm certainly not expecting you to go it alone. Oh. Understood. I'll do just that. Splendid. I believe you'll be needing this then. Is he gonna give me a sword? Old schoolhouse key, cool! It's the key to the front door of the old schoolhouse. Best of luck to you, and please, be safe. Thank you, sir. Alright, so now do we go and... Do we go around and, like, ask our friends? Or, I guess we're not friends yet. Let's go ahead and start hitting people up to see if they'll, uh, go with us. Uh, first, I want to start off with Fee. If I could... Okay. There we go. Took me forever, but I managed it. Should be standing in front of her, I think? There we go. The shade here is nice. Might be good for napping. Oh, I can't... How do I get her to go with me? Oh, these are the active voices. Hmm. Old schoolhouse exploration. Quest is what I'm after. A schoolhouse mystery. It seems like so I'm gonna need to check it out. Hmm. Okay, first we're gonna save. Uh, let's save over this one. Dang, that was forever ago. Well, not forever ago, just the beginning of this month, but still. Alright, so let's go ahead. We're gonna head over there to see if, like, maybe he'll make a comment like, man, maybe I shouldn't do this alone. Or maybe it'll just let me go in. Or maybe my, my friends, or not my friends, because we're not friends just yet, but maybe my allies will, like, join me right before I go in. The front doors are locked. I'm not sensing that mysterious presence anymore. It seems to have dissipated or something. Maybe it was my imagination after all. Once I start exploring this old schoolhouse, I get the feeling I won't have any time left to do anything else today. So before I go in, I should check and make sure I've taken care of everything else on my to-do list. After you finish exploring the old schoolhouse, the time of day will advance to evening. As a result, all daytime bonding events and quests will expire. Um. Well, we've we've already we used up all our bonding points, so we're gonna use the old schoolhouse key. There we go. I wonder if anyone else might be interested in exploring this place with me. I should try calling them. Okay, so now we can pick people. You can use your Arcus to call other members of Class Seven for assistance in investigating the old schoolhouse. However, some characters will only be available to help after the story has progressed a bit farther. Dang, dude. So, okay, whatever. Everyone else will just have to be garbage for a while. So only Gaius and Elliot responded to my summons. Everybody else was like, nah, Breen, you, eh, you can die, that's fine. Doesn't affect me none. I can't believe we're coming back in here again. I, I really don't think this is a good idea. Well, the principal told us to, so you're wrong. Well, that's because it probably isn't. And neither of us would blame you one bit if you turned back. It's not too late. N no, thanks. I'll come with you. We've got that practical exam next week, after all. I need to familiarize myself with this orbital staff as much as possible before then. Besides, if I turn back, I'd just wind up worrying myself sick about you two. Well, that's very kind. Thank you. There are only three of us, though, so we'll need to watch each other's backs and proceed with caution. The underground area should be just through the main door, correct? Yeah, that should take us right to the room where we find that stone gargoyle. Best way to go, uh, best to go that way rather than falling through that trap door again. No arguments there. 
I, I really hope that thing hasn't regenerated yet. Because if it has, we're bones. Uh, can I explore? Is there... Operation rub up against everything. Isn't that where she tripped the uh, trap door before? Yeah, we were standing right there. Hmm. Guess there must not, uh, not be anything for me to find this time. But... Alright, stairway room. See if the layout's changed at all since last month. Hmm. This is pretty serene music for a dungeon. Whoa. Hmm. Well, at least that monster isn't here anymore from the looks of it. And it doesn't look like we've got any more creepy statues ready to come to life either. Wait. Did it always look like this in here? No, dude, this is totally different. No. This room's definitely smaller than it was the last time we were here. <laughs> How? I'd say it's about half the size. Maybe even less. And there are things present that weren't here previously. Yeah, like that, uh... That heel station. Like, that door? I don't remember there being a door there last time. I don't remember there being one either. But at this point, I'm not sure what to believe anymore. Strange though it may be, we should go and get a closer look at it. This is essentially why we came, after all. Alright. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and... Well, do we We don't really need that orbital station just yet. Yeah, nah, we're gonna ignore that. And let's see, so this place, they got a lot of mileage out of it, and the character's just like, Eh, I don't remember it being like this. Old Schoolhouse 1F. Okay, this sounds more like Dungeon Music. Hmm. Unbelievable. This isn't even the same place! I don't remember passing through an area like this at all! I don't either, because we didn't. The entire layout down here has changed completely. can sense new types of monsters here, too. What do you mean? What do you mean by you can sense stuff? People can't do that. What do you think we should do, Rain? Mm. The principal sent us down here to investigate these mysterious changes, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Now that we've seen just how major these changes are, there's no way we can go back empty-handed. We should head in as far. Uh, we should head as far in as we're able. <sighs> Here we go again, then. May the goddess be with us. All right, let's do this. Just like before, we're gonna save one more time before, like, we get wiped by our very first encounter or something equally stupid. What save is this? Well, whatever. We're in the dungeons now. Alright, but new types of enemies... Dude, that is such... What is this? What could this be? It doesn't look like an orbing charging station. Yeah, it's some kind of device for sure, but whatever it is, it doesn't seem to have any power right now. Okay. Maybe it's a warp. Okay, so this looks like a job for Elliot. Oh, okay, it's gonna stop us. Yeah, that looks like a slug that can take physical uh, hits like a champ. A slug-like monster. Hmm, this one could prove a little awkward to fight. Not if we make good use of our combat links. What? Yeah, we shouldn't have any trouble against a monster like this if we work together. Shall we put our link ability to the test then? Absolutely. Let's show this monster what we're made of. Combat links are a phenomenon which connects Arcus users to each other. By sharing a sensory input and mental impulses with one another, linked characters can fight together even more effectively. 
Fighting battles and viewing bonding events increases Link EXP, and when enough Link EXP has been earned, that character's Link level will increase. A higher Link level between two characters will increase the variety of Link abilities they can use. Level, link level 1, Link Attack. Link level 2, Finishing Blow. Okay, so everyone was like, Link level 1. You can change combat link settings using the tactics menu and the camp menu. Okay, so that's why Gaius and Laura, like when we were doing the uh, tutorial, that's why Gaius and Laura were linked and Emma and I were linked and I couldn't really change it. I didn't know how, but that's how you do it. Select the character with the, uh, character with the triangle button. Select the character you want them to form a link with using the uh, triangle button. You can also set combat links during the battle using the L1 button. All right, awesome. So you can do it in battle, huh? Combat links can be assigned through the tactics section of the camp menu. Alright, so I'm gonna... Uh, tactics... Okay, so that overwrites it. Oh, he sees me! Alright, let's go ahead. Oh, the sled's kinda slow, so that's cool. Got him! Let's Triple advantage, loving it. All right. Performing attacks in certain crafts gives characters a chance to unbalance enemies. Successfully unbalancing an enemy allows you to perform a follow-up attack while they are off balance. Press X when Link Attack appears. The likelihood of unbalancing an enemy depends on the enemy's unbalance efficacy and the type of weapon used to attack it. S A B D C D. Huh. Well, we'll figure it out. Autumn Leaf Cutter, uh, the chance to unbalance, I don't think... Oh, square view specifics! Got him! Alright, guy is getting it! Leave it to me. Alright, crafts, Gale Stinger. Mm. Double teams, alright, awesome! I can't say I completely get it, but it seems to be happening every time I do a thing, so we'll go ahead and do that. Needle shoot! Are we good? 323? Uh, I guess that's okay. So, doing this, like, doing this, I said it increases our leaky XP, right? Got him. And we finished him off. Uh, you'll just do your regular attack. 168. Alright. Right. Another Gale Stinger. Ooh. Open. Eh, skipping go. it is kind of lame. Here we go. What about a physical attack? Go. Slash. Wow, okay. Dude, these things must be unbalanced by literally everything. Oh my god. 336? I think that's the, like... Dang. All right. there. Easy. I go where the wind takes me. Clear gelatin and honey syrup. All right, cool. So now we know all about uh, unbalancing. Well, that sure seemed to do the trick. Yes, we fought well. If we can master these combat links, I'm sure they'll prove really useful in the battles ahead. We should probably try to practice as much as possible while the stakes are low and get as used to them as we can. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> indeed. You can now access the link section of the camp menu. About combat links. Okay. This is like the fifth time they've explained it to us. Combat links are a new feature likely to be of vital importance in the battles ahead. By strengthening party members' bonds with one another, they can use powerful link abilities together such as finishing blow and cover. Stronger link attacks will become available as the story progresses. Forming combat links between party members has no disadvantages, so it's recommended to keep an active link at all times. About damage types and unbalancing. Link attacks only occur when the enemy is unbalanced and the success rate of which is determined by the weapon used to deal damage. Mollusk monsters are more easily unbalanced by Rain's slash attacks, while crustacean monsters are weak to Gaius's thrust? Wow. Other types include Pierce, effective against flying enemies, and Strike, effective against rock-type bows. Elliot's Orbital Staff deals all types of damage at once? Wow! But his chances of successfully unbalancing an enemy are low as a result, so 
Elliot's basic attack isn't going to be unbalancing anyway. About criticals and unbalancing. Attacks taken on a turn with a critical bonus have a 100% chance of unbalancing an enemy, regardless of the damage type being dealt. In this case, assist attacks also deal critical 1.5 times damage. Okay, cool. All right. So we know all about links, and that's another thing, my Bob. What the heck? Is that like a bunny? All right. Ooh, it got me. Okay. Watch out, guys. That was actually pretty bad. Oh wow. Uh, Reen is in danger. Turn. Let's do Crafts Gale Stinger. Did we get a thing? Yes. Wow. My turn. Okay, so Reen is actually gonna use my last tier bomb. Crap. I really should have stocked up on those. HP heal. Okay, I'm gonna check weaknesses because this is actually probably gonna get CP slurp. What the heck? Oh, this is actually pretty bad. Uh. The chances of fleeing successfully increase with every attempt to do so. Oh, so this game isn't sadistic like Persona. Run. Where'd you come from? Oh crap. No, we're actually gonna run from this, because he got the advantage on me, and these guys like are killing the crap out of Reen. Uh, not move, run. Let's keep moving. Thank god. Okay, so we almost died there, and we're actually going to call it a part there. I'm probably going to head back and heal up at that orbital station, because we're out of tear bombs, but yeah. I'll see- oh. Well, before I say that, let's find out what's in this chest. Curia Balm. What is that? A salve that cures all status abnormalities except KO. God dang it. So it's just status recovery. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. So, we'll definitely, we'll call it a part here, and I'll see you guys next time for more Trails of Cold Steel. Bye for now, guys.